Hello, YouTube. Hello, everybody. I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy's Makeup Adventures. And on today's adventure, we are going to be talking about some new releases. So, I'm really excited. So, grab yourself something to, to munch on. This is going to take a few minutes because... I went to not only what's new on trend mood, but went into um, Indie Makeup Spotlight, Makeup Release Radar, um, Makeup News Worldwide, and I gathered, um, you know, just what I considered to be um, what's noteworthy. And there's like 22 products that are coming out. So the holidays are upon us and I know that it's October and you're like why are we watching um, Christmas crap already but that's that's just how it works because if they launch it now then people can buy it and be prepared for the Christmas season so that's the idea behind that so we're gonna start out with an indie brand an indie brand that gets more um, what do you call it um, National, not national. They just get more like airtime, I guess, than some other indie brands. I don't know. Um, so she's putting out the Coral Blossom palette. Now, keep in mind that her last palette that she put out was an all nude palette called Transitions, so that you could supposedly have all, and it was all matte. All matte, all transition shades, right? And, you know, everybody called that boring, including myself. <laughs> and it is, but apparently, um, you know, it is whatever. She, Dominic, does have that nude type of style. But this Coral Blossom palette is like just warm neutrals and a lavender or lilac -y kind of shade. It's like a shimmer shade. So, I mean, also Blossom seems like it should be coming up in the spring. So, I don't know. It's just an, it's an odd, uh, an odd release. And we won't be getting that on Mandy's Makeup Adventures. Up next, we have from MAC Cosmetics X Lisa. I'm going to sit over here because I know that I'm having to put these little pictures in a part of the screen. <laughs> this one is MAC Cosmetics X Lisa. And um, I looked at all the comments underneath this post and it was like, who's Lisa? Everybody was confused. Um, also... They said that the packaging on this looks like what the Selena collection should have looked like. So that's a bunch of shade in the direction of MAC Cosmetics. To me, I was just like, I see all these pictures where clearly there's an eyeshadow palette in this release. And they're not showing us what the inside of it looks like. <laughs> So there's all these pictures out there, but none of them are of the inside of the palette. And I'm like, that's the only way I decide if I'm doing something or not, is by the palette. <laughs> not that I have any plans anytime soon to be buying for MAC, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, up next, we have Billie Eilish Perfume, which uh, this is like... A normal progression of singers in America. They get popular, they release several albums, and after they get awards and all that, they head into some sort of um, bunker. No, I'm kidding. Some sort of area in their career where they, they drop perfumes. It's like everybody does this. Mariah Carey, um, um, Rihanna, everybody does this, I feel like. Um, Ariana Grande, lots of people. 
So it makes sense for Billie Eilish to be releasing a perfume. And actually, the one that she's releasing, this packaging is very on brand with um, her journey. This gold bust of like old Hollywood glam. And that is very much Billie's journey so far. Um, at the most recent red carpet thing... Or was it just, I think it might have been the Met Gala, where she was dressed up like old Hollywood, Marilyn Monroe, with this gorgeous, uh, she had like a peachy color dress on. It was absolutely stunning. So, yeah, this makes sense. So this perfume is going to have notes of vanilla, amber, and musk. This was from my... Um, Ipsy add-ons this month, and it's from a brand called Farah. Uh, it's a liquid lipstick, and it's gorgeous. It's like this berry tone. And I'm going to show you guys the palette I've been using, the one that is um, that I'm using in this particular look that I have on today, and... It's, it should be available, so hopefully hopefully you can still get your hands on it because it's amazing. Up next, we have from Tom Ford. This is the Black Cherry Collection, and it doesn't say that it's his holiday collection. It's just the Black Cherry per Collection. It's got a perfume, compact, eye quad, and a lippy stick. Um... Tom Ford's too expensive. Tom Ford's too expensive. So basically, <laughs> there's no counter argument there. Tom Ford's too expensive. You thought I was going to say Tom Ford's too expensive, but, and that's, that's not what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, nope, it's just too damn expensive. Plus, I mean, I've got to say, it doesn't look that great. It's like, I guess the packaging is considered sleek packaging, but I'm like, mm, it doesn't look fantastic. It does not look like it's worth the price. The price is outrageous. I don't know. What do you guys think about my hair now? Like, do you still like it? Do you still think it's cute? I don't know. It like, it's growing on me, but it's kind of weird. So, I don't know. Coming up next is something I'm super excited about, and I am probably going to get this. I say probably, and I mean I'm definitely going to get this. Um, I'll have to work like several extra ship shifts, but what else? This is Huda's Holiday Palette. It's Rose Quartz. So I'm watching her video now, and it says that she has been surrounding herself with rose quartz. She's on this self-love journey, and I feel like we all need to be on a self-love journey, so I, I identify. And so her guru or whatever, spiritual guide, something like that, told her that she needed to surround herself with pink quartz. And I think that's beautiful, and I think that's a beautiful message. So it's like pink and purple and gray, and it looks absolutely beautiful, but people are going to make fun of it because it's got that same shade that was in the Naughty or Nice palette, and everybody was like, this is 2021 in an eyeshadow shade. There was a lot of shade thrown at that eyeshadow shade is what I'm getting to. So, yeah, I'm most definitely going to get this. I think it's going to be $68, somewhere around there. It's gorgeous. I've never had one of her bigger palettes. I was so impressed by the Wild um, Obsession Trio and just so happy with the quality of it that I'm super ecstatic about trying this Rose Quartz palette. So, Get ready to see that on this channel unless some some sort of dramatic thing happens. It'll be here. 
Okay, up next we have ColourPop. Up next, we have Burberry, who I thought was just perfume, but apparently um, they make makeup. So it's got a palette with four eyeshadows and two blushes and four lipsticks. And what I have to say to that is boo. <laughs> boo. I love... Um, I love the smell of Burberry perfumes. None of them as far as I'm aware, have patchouli, and I kind of require patchouli. It works really well with my natural oils or whatever, and the people, like, stop me on the street, and they're like, what perfume are you wearing? Um, anytime I wear patchouli. So, it's not for me, but I love the smell of it, especially on other people. Um, so I like the perfume, but I'm like, mm, you can't just release at Christmas, um, as a brand if you don't want people to just think that you're cash grabbing and all of that. So, I mean, maybe they have more of a makeup presence than I know about. I, it's just that I never see them. And then here they are, it's the holidays and they're releasing, you know, really boring looking makeup, which is what I think it looks like. Because I think that there are neutral palettes that are exciting looking, that look like, wow, that's super awesome. So, like the Tiger palette from the Wild Obsessions situation. The one I'm giving away. I was going to announce the winners this evening, but... Um, I'm not feeling good, and it took me a long time to edit one of the other videos that went up, so I'm behind my schedule. That's okay. So no, no Burberry for me. Okay, up next is Juvia's Place, coming in hot with their holiday collection. Now, um... I don't normally love it when they release a holiday collection this early because I'm still like, you know, I'm still into um, Halloween right now. And that's for like everything in life. I get irritated that uh, Walmart has Christmas stuff out already. Um, the only place I don't get mad at is um, um, Cracker Barrel because they release stuff super early for Christmas and... It makes me feel, like, completely happy, and I like to um, buy the new stuff, even if it's hot outside still. Um, I got several things for Christmas, including um, the original um, Charles Dickens novel. And why I can't remember... A Christmas Carol. I'm like, I don't know if it's just that I'm getting older, but I can't remember shit. Okay. So, this is the Christmas collection from Juvia's Place. There's a brush set that looks amazing. Her brushes are great. Um, there's two palettes, a blue theme and a teal green and red theme. There's an eyeliner set, a lippy set, a couple bundles, um, and I have already purchased these two palettes. I think the palettes are beautiful, um, and they usually ship their stuff out super fast, so I wanted to get it just so that I could tell you guys whether or not it it's safe for you guys to get. Now, usually Juvia's Place um, is amazeballs quality, but it's always nice to hear, yeah, this one gets a, a green light before 
you purchase it. Sorry, I'm messing with my hair, of course. When I was in school, I used to get in such bad trouble for brushing my hair in class. And the only detention I ever got, or it was a Saturday school, I think, was the only time I ever got in any kind of trouble in school. And it was because I was brushing my hair in class <laughs> and looking at a compact when I was supposed to be listening to the science lecture. Next we have from Ulta. This is Ulta X Pixar. There's three different collections, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and Monsters, Inc. So, I have purchased makeup from Ulta Beauty before. Their lip gloss is okay. The rest of it, not so much. In my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, Ulta eyeshadow is not good. It's garbage. Um, up next, we have Friends x Kathleen Lights from Light Slacker. Um, and this is eight polishes, three nail files, and a mug. And I have to say that the Light Slacker brand is so exciting. They're so expensive. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it just, it seems like a lot of money. So I think that um, if you wanted the eight polishes and the three files, it's like 75 bucks and the mug is an extra $20. So I don't know. I mean, it depends on if you think that those colors are maze balls and you just like, yeah, I really love this. I do like the packaging for it. I think that the packaging is really cute with the little couch and stuff. It's cute. And I think uh, Kathleen Lights is, is awesome. So there's that. Okay, so up next is Gourmand Cosmetics. And... This is the That Time of Year palette. It has 14 shades. Um, they are gorgeous. Um, it looks like some of those shimmer white shades. They look so, so pretty. So pretty. I like really light shimmery whites or white um, glitter because I feel like um, the place that I want to really super bring up is in the inner corner. And I like it when there is a white, um, shimmer shade or glitter to do that. I'm not going to be getting the that time of the year palette, but is really, really pretty. Up next is Fright Cosmetics. Fright Cosmetics is up next. And they have the Lover palette. Now, this is not um, as in Tarot, the Lover, but this is the Lover or Lovers who are um, Morticia and um, what's the dude's name? The Adams. Anyway. Unique color story with purple and burgundy and a little bit of orange is definitely different. I actually went to, I feel like I went to go order it, but there was, it was like not time yet or something. I don't know. And then I decided I wanted to get some other things instead. So I'm saving my money. Up next is from Pizzazz by Jazz Cosmetics. I'd never heard of this one before. I don't think I don't think I've ever heard of it anyway. And this is the Fresh Princess collection. 
so can we talk, like, do you guys remember a Fresh Prince collection? Or is this just because they can't say the Fresh Prince because of, like, copyright laws or whatever? But that's what they were really aiming at? I don't know. It's such a strange thing to, to see the Fresh Princess. Like, unless... It's a new show. Like, they're going to have the Fresh Princess of Bel-Air. I don't know. Or is it because they didn't want to pay for the, the name? I don't know what it is. But it's interesting. And, I mean, the time of the year for that is, is suspect. It's like, why aren't you releasing something that has to do with the upcoming holidays? Come on now. Okay, up next is from QC Queen Cosmetics, and this is the Military Queen's palette. The color story on this one is beautiful. It's very different, it's like the grungy greens along with some like lime, and then you've got gold and yellow and blue and red. It's just kind of cool. Um, and I do happen to know that the quality of QC Queen Cosmetics is totally there. It's amazeballs. Very, very good quality. Okay. DJ's Unique Boutique has their holiday palette. Um, that's weird. Green, blue, and orange, and that's the holiday colors palette. It's really weird. Um, it's different, but it's cool. I don't know if it says what its name is, it's just a holiday palette. It's weird. Okay. Moving on. From Glaminatrix, uh, this is a picture of the... Sandra Rose Mini Palette in Sunlight. Can't be too much of a mini palette because it looks like it's a little bit bigger than the size of her hand. Hi, Chaos. Chaos is mad at me because I didn't give her any wet food today because we didn't have any, and so I have to get her some tomorrow, so she's mad. I know, baby. Glaminatrix is pretty expensive, if I recall correctly, so I don't know about that one. Up next, we have Rude Cosmetics, and these are the spell books, and these are $11 each. These are cute little color stories. They've got this burgundy and orange, and then they've got purple, and then they've got teals and blues. Super cute color, story colors. Ah, color stories. Um, very cute. I saw that the um, reviews for Rude Cosmetics are really good, so that's awesome. And I am, I could maybe, maybe decide that I want to get something from Rude Cosmetics. We'll see. Up next is from Tammy Tanuka. <clears throat> This is green, burgundy, and cream. Um, it's that's not the name of it, but this that's the colors. Um, they look phenomenal. There's a mini and a full size of this palette. I don't I don't know what it's called, but I went onto the website because I was like, this is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. Let me see how much they want for it. So when I did the trans translated or like, how does that work? When you um, take it from one currency to the other. I don't know what the name for it is. But anyway, when I was doing that, um, $72 is what they want for that. Not the mini one, not the little tiny one, the regular size one. I'm like, for six shades, $72, Tammy. 
say it's not true. Up next, this is our like update that we've the whole beauty community has been waiting for ever. And like a lot of you guys have been waiting forever. This is the Playing in Makeup by Lo Yolando <clears throat> Relentless Palette. This is finally going to launch. It's going to launch on November the 12th. And it's got 39 shades, mattes, and shimmers. It says it's going to be available November 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So, this has been sneak peeked for like forever, for months and I feel like I want to I really want to know the price of this um I feel like the color story seems much more like August than it does November to me but I'm still hoping to get it it just depends on how much it costs and all of that so we'll see about whether or not you'll see that on my channel. I have a feeling you're gonna see this on the channel. So just stick with us over here. You'll see all kinds of fun things over here. So up next, this is from Melolops. This is the Millionaria collection. It has a eyeshadow palette that has um, seven mattes and eight shimmers. Um, there's lustrous jewel pigments, uh, 3D chunky glitters, ultra fine jewel glitters, water inks. The list goes on and on, but there's a lot of, uh, stuff in this collection. I don't know from this picture, I can't really see the palette, so I don't really know how to feel about that, you know? The last item for today's adventure is Bite Beauty. That's why it's Bite Beauty, not Bite Me Beauty. This is just more lipsticks from their brand. I'm trying to read my my handwriting here. It's a whole problem. From Bite Beauty. I don't know. Oh, berries. I'm sorry. It says berries. So, there's beautiful berry tones, um, gold maize kind of colors, and um, navy blue. Wouldn't that be interesting on the lips? So interesting. Um, they all look really pretty. Bite Beauty's kind of expensive, so I don't know that I'll get any of these. So really, I did very good. I've only bought one thing on this list and two things on this list. I have my sights set on for November. So guys, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that button, that bell, that beautiful bell that tells you when I do stuff. It's kind of, you know, spying on me. And I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, it is what it is. Hit the bell anyway. And like this video share it, leave comments, do all those kind of things. I'm very, very close to my goal. Just a few hundred more subscribers to go. And I love you guys. I will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye. I almost forgot. Hopefully you'll be seeing this as an insert into the makeup releases. So, on my eyes today, we have the Gather Round Sisters palette. Absolutely gorgeous. This is from last year at Halloween. This is, to my knowledge, still available on ColourPop's website. And I feel like if you only have 
the money to get one fall palette this year. One fall winter palette. It should be this one. So you've got your taupey shades up here. This is a beautiful berry quad. And this is a beautiful green quad. It's like grungy greens, black, and it's like copper shade. This row could be a little uh, palette right there. Just got your beautiful neutrals on it. Honestly, this is just a really well-made um, fall vibes type palette. And it's got kind of everything that you would need. In my opinion, this one in the artwork and in um, the color story and all of that is much closer to um, the movie than this second set of Hocus Pocus stuff. I think that the first collection was brilliant. Didn't need the second one this year, but I am glad that they brought this palette back. Um, and I think it should kind of be in their permanent line of things because it's such an excellent uh, color story. So, go get you one. <laughs>